Serving the entire state of Wisconsin, the Lions Eye Bank of Wisconsin fulfills their mission by procuring, processing, and distributing eye tissue to cornea transplant surgeons, researchers, and teachers. Their ultimate goal is to improve people's quality of life through the gift of sight. Here is the story of Karen Newman, a cornea transplant recipient. My story started when I was 13. I woke up one morning, I felt a pop in my left eye, and I could not see. There had been no warning that this was going to happen, and I have no medical terminology as to why this happened. We learned that I would need a cornea transplant in Madison, and we waited on a list for about three and a half, four months. I want you to remember that back in 1969, there were no cell phones. For that whole summer, I had a patch on my eye and we needed to stay next to the landline. So we waited about three and a half, four months. Finally, the call came while I was in school and my father came to pick me up. It was the first time that I saw my father cry. <laughs> he was just so excited. We were all excited and nervous and we went down to the Madison General Hospital. For three days, I needed to lay very, very still. And I had to have both of my eyes patched because if one eye moved, the other eye would follow it. So I lay on my back. Um, you know, I don't really know that I was sedated at all. I remember many, many things. I remember playing a game to find out who the nurses were by their voices and by the smell of their perfume. I was actually in the hospital from September 24th, and my discharge date was October 9th. So that was 16 days in the hospital, and it turned out wonderful because the cornea lasted for 39 years. Then it started to cloud over, and I knew that I had to go in again and get it checked. He did a full cornea transplant, so I do have 21 very small sutured stitches in my cornea. Somebody calls it the sunshine. That surgery went totally different, of course. That was an in and out surgery. Went very fast. After my first surgery, that was when I was 13. When I was 24, I was working at Miles Kimball as a secretary. And I had worked with a woman for two years who I thought I knew very intimately as we talked and we communicated about, you know, different hopes and dreams. She was a mother. And finally one day she looked really down and I said to her, Marge, are you okay? She said, well, it's the anniversary of my son's death. And she said, you know, I often wonder, we gave do donor organs for my son and we've never heard if they were appreciated. And I just started crying and I said, Marge, after all these years that I've known you, I didn't know that. Do you know that it's appreciated? I said, I am a recipient of a cornea. And I can tell you, I really, really appreciate it. And you know, that just calmed her so wonderfully. And it was the first time that I really got to tell anybody and to thank anybody. Two years ago, I was asked to speak to a group who had lost loved ones. And the speech that I ended was very difficult for me. It was so difficult that for days I did not know how to end this speech. So I went to the Lord and I said, Lord, I'm going to open this Bible and you will tell me what you want to say to donor families. God's home is now with his people. He will live with them and they will be his own. Yes, he will make his home among his people and God will wipe away all tears from their eyes, and there will be no more death, no more suffering, no more crying, no more pain. These things of the past are gone forever. It was a beautiful way to let donor people know that there is still a future, and their loved ones will be waiting for them.